Shakugeki no Soma episode 3. I'm pretty sure at least 20% of audience viewers watching this series has a food fetish. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Well, anyway, gotta say, like I said in the last, in the first episode, in the last episode, that I was looking forward to these upcoming episodes because now we're getting the ball rolling. Another entertaining episode. I really had a great time in this episode where we get to meet a new character, Magumi. Magumi, I didn't know if I was gonna like her or not. I was like, oh my god, the, here's another love interest. Who maybe has that one-dimensional personality? She does have somewhat, you know, similar traits that we see in anime characters all the time. But she's fun. She's funny. She's kind of. She's not pathetic. She wouldn't be pathetic if she wasn't going to this uh, school. But she has bad luck. She has. But she leaves her hometown when she's 13. She wants. She's getting into that culinary school, the hardest culinary school. But she's not. She's struggling. She's struggling and. She's put basically partnered up with Soma in this episode, and Soma. Am I watching the Naruto of food? Pretty much. If Naruto were just all about cooking, you know, going one day being head chef or ruling the world as head chef, the main, the best chef to ever live. That's what I'm getting out of Soma. Soma is so. You know, energetic, and he says what's on his mind, and he does a Naruto. He makes enemies on the freaking first day. Now we know uh, Nak uh, Nakira, 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 damn it, Nakira. Uh, basically, she, you know, the big boot chick, she was hot. <laughs> her grandfather, her grandfather, I believe, owns pretty much the culinary arts uh, school. He's like the dawn of chef, the chef world. Everybody bows to him. Everybody. And probably asks us for a favor. I'll make him up when he can't with fools. But yeah, we knew in the last episode he did see what was going on. Soma was making that um, food for Nakira. Nakira. Iri. Nakiri. There we go. Nakiri. Yes. Nikita. No. Nakairi. And basically, uh, she thought she, she was rid of Soma, but of course, the transfer student goes on stage and tells the world he's. Going for that top spot. But he does it in such a nice, polite kind of way. It's kind of funny. Love Soma. Love his whole attitude towards things. I absolutely loved also how the comedy worked in this episode. Especially when he didn't know how the hell to what the hell the first teacher came in. Was asking for them to make this certain dish. He didn't know what it was. I mean, this is supposed to be the baddest mofo ever. He didn't know what the hell that was. He looked at the instructions, the ingredients, and he made it. Um, but before I get into that, uh, <laughs> Nakiriri, na Nakiriri, Nakiriri and Soma, they have a little reunion, you know, and he vows to make her say, instead of disgusting, delicious, and we already know she loves his food, so I like the little rival those two are going to be in, so I uh, look forward to that relationship, even expanding even more, even if it's not a romantic way, it definitely, it's a good, you know, it, it's good to have competition, and I think these two definitely are going to have that competition going, and hopefully, uh, you know, the problem with uh, Nakayeri is her overconfidence, and Soma is definitely going to change a lot of minds because he's already doing work he's already just blow, blowing like just blowing everybody out of the water passing these tests with ease this guy knows his stuff he since he was three he was pretty much cooking he was you know using the knife everything so we see him we see him in his class and you see uh megumi just like kind of Freaking out, you know, she, she's hoping that he she want to be partnered up with him. He, she doesn't need that publicity. But, of course, she's partnered up with him. And we see these two work together. And I really like the dynamic with these two relationships. They were funny. They were very funny together. <laughs> together. And uh, the first teacher coming is uh, that comes in and tells them what to make. And basically, he's either going to pass them or fail them. They better have a good dish. He he is known as a chef that never smiles. So seeing Soma and Megumi, you know, and a lot of people are gunning for them. He's painted a target on his back. There's a little sabotage that the other two uh, chefs that are in there, students, sabotage Megumi's without 
dish without her knowledge. And of course, her and Soma are working together. So Soma really takes control and is able to basically, you know, cook something in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes where it would take like an hour, an hour and a half. So great for Soma. And then he's... What's great about Soma is over the years, he experiments. That's why sometimes it looks disgusting. Like octopus with honey or whatever. That's... No. No, Soma. I like how he just shoves it in Megumi's mouth, though. But, yeah. I like how he experimented and he found out, like, what works and what doesn't work. That's what you got to do. You got to just go for it and see if it works or it doesn't. So, Soma doing that and being able to, you know, in learning, experiencing throughout his life, these situations like this, like sabotage and everything, it's not going to slow him down. So, him and Megumi presented to the chef. And, of course, the chef smiles, and you get that food fetish going. You get all the little, all the fan service for Megumi. I mean, it was really, it was a fun, it definitely was a fun episode. I really enjoyed it. Uh, of course, Soma and Megumi are going to probably have a relationship throughout, and I like it. I like their chemistry. I like the com- uh, comic relief. I like Megumi and how she's so stressed out, and she, but she sees that, you know what, this guy is going to be somebody special. And, you know, Soma is wants to work with her. So that's great. That's really great. Uh, can't wait for the upcoming more episodes. Really starting off really good. Well, st- the first episode was okay. Now we're starting to, you know, get better and better. Really enjoying it so far. So thank you guys for listening. If you've seen it, let me know your thoughts on it. I was, I'm assuming you saw it. So that's just my thoughts on... Food Wars, man. Food Wars Episode 3. I thought it was really great. I thought it was really fun. I thought Megumi was a great character. And we do see a lot of different other characters that will be introduced in uh, the upcoming probably se- in this season. You see, there's a lot of them. We already uh, went back and got introduced to that uh, little prestige kid who was looking down at Soma. So, great stuff. Great stuff. And I want to see uh, uh, Nakayeri really her competition with Soma and those two battling it out because she is even though you know she's kind of uh, she you know she's not the nicest person she does look down upon people she does have gifts she is one of the best out there so I want to see the best go at each other right now Soma is just going through the classes you know we're getting introduced to characters can't wait for like a big you know a big kind of arc. And of course, once you're in a school, that doesn't necessarily, you know, even if you pass, people will be dwindling down. People will be, it will go down to, you know, you'll start, maybe it started with 1,800 people. It'll dwindle down to 100 at the end of this whole thing. So that it's very rare for a lot of people. It's rare for people to graduate and to be, you know, accepted. You'll And if you're accepted, you're a superstar in the culinary arts. So great, great job. Great, great job from the staff. The music was great. Comedy was great. Animation was beautiful. Loved it. That was great. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe. Like. You know the deal. You know the drill. All right. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Well, whatever. See ya.